Praise the Lord, my beloved people all over the world. <laughs> welcome to the Word of God, Garden and More. You are welcome, you are welcome, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Yes, today, today, in the Word of God, Garden and More, I'm going to show you this wonderful, beautiful, I just love this plant. You know, this plant called Bishop Crown, amongst other names. It has a lot of names. Uh, Mad Hatter, uh, Christmas, uh, Christmas Bell, uh, balloon, different kind of names, you know, big, vigorous, very vigorous, you know, I'm going to talk about it today and show it off so that everybody can see how big, it's so big, so, so tall, taller than me, you know, and five something, look at, it's very tall and very, you know, it's very vigorous in growing, it has a lot of uh, peppers, yes, welcome, if this is your first time of coming across this uh, word of God garden and more, please, please, please hang on, watch, and if you like what you watch, give us thumbs up and become a family by subscribing. Come on, become a family. God will bless you. And my family, all oh, my subscribers, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. God bless you for helping and, you know, watching and, you know, giving me, you know, uh, commenting and you know, watching my premieres and everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. God bless you and bless your family in Jesus' name. Amen. I plead the blood of Jesus upon this program today. And I plead the blood of Jesus upon everyone that is going to, that is watching or that is going to watch or that will ever watch this video. I plead the blood of Jesus upon you all in Jesus' name. Amen. So, I have a lot of peppers in my garden. You know, this is one of them. And uh, I really love this. Look at how big, so vigorous, you know, go around, you know, big, look at it, it's like huge, huge, you know, I just, um, you know, got uh, a plant, you know, from a, a Home Depot, you know, those little containers, uh, I think uh, like four inches containers, and uh, just put it down uh, uh, during the springtime, that was uh, around like, uh, I think April, I put it, I put it, I, I, I planted it and look at, you know, when it first started because we had the heat wave that, uh, you know, mess up my uh, uh, tomatoes because my tomatoes, you know, they got the flowers, everything was doing well because of the heat wave. I lost a lot of the, the, um, the tomatoes because when it's so hot, even for the peppers, if the temperature is too hot, the peppers can't produce. You understand all the flowers will just fall off so this one was not you know bringing out uh, flowers for a, uh, for a while i said oh lord god what's going to happen but it was growing vigorously but you know i didn't see a lot of fruits so i was just praying i said god let this heat wave go so that this thing can produce so i'm very very happy to see that you know i have you know some of uh, a lot of them now you know you know so I'm so happy. This is a, it's called a Bishop Crown, Bishop Crown, Mad uh, Hatter, Balloon, Christmas uh, Bell Pepper, you know, different names that they're calling it. So uh, look at it. It's so beautiful. Let me uh, cut one. Let me bring one out. You know? Look at, look at the way it looks. Beautiful. See? They start, you know, being yellow. See? It's yellow. Then now, I mean, it starts with green. Look at the green one. So beautiful. Then it goes to the orange. This is the orange. See how beautiful it is. So beautiful. It's a very beautiful uh, pepper. You can, instead of using a um, bear pepper, if you don't have bear pepper, you can use it. It's a medium heat. Look, look how beautiful it is. Look at, they are like stunning, beautiful. You know, I just, I came across it. I said, you know what? Let me plant, plant it. And, uh, you know, it came out very nice. You know? So... Let me 
take us some. You know? It's good to grow your own pepper organically. You know, you will be so, so happy. You know? So, we, I have a lot of green ones all over. So I just want to invest some of them. Then, as we know, peppers are they have, hot peppers have uh, a lot of uh, health benefit. You know, like if you, you can check my videos, I have, uh, you know, uh, a lot of peppers that I've shown. I have uh, the black uh, cobra. I have the uh, Thai, um, you know, uh, chili pepper and the uh, habanero, you know. All these peppers, they are very good. You know, they have a lot of health benefits. You can check my video. You understand? You can include it in your diet. Okay? They are very good. And it's good to eat it when it's red. You know? Yeah, so look at... I'm able to harvest some of this. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of green ones, like you can see. Green. There are a lot of the green ones. I'm so happy because... We had problem with heat, with the heat wave. I just want to show this paper because I've told a lot, uh, you know, I've talked to us about the the head benefit of peppers and uh, the head benefits are like the same. So it's good for you to include it in your diet and you can plant it. I got this from Home Depot, like I told you. I got it from Home Depot and look at the way it grew. It grew. And uh, I'm going to see if I will overwinterize it. I don't know, but what I will do is that uh, I will try to plant a, a, a fresh one, but I will try to see if I can winter, over winterize it. So, because I love it so much. Look how it's so, I mean, I just want you guys to see this, if you can see this. So beautiful. There are a lot of flowers, a lot of flowers, you know, a lot of flowers. Look at it. I just want to show off. This beautiful, that's what I came to do today <laughs> in the world of God Garden and more. I just love it. I'm so excited. That was how I liked the black cobra when I got a uh, black cobra. And I told you, I told uh, my beloved, I said, you know, God has so many different peppers that we have never even seen. And by that time, I've not uh, uh, come across uh, this pepper. And they uh, look at it. I'm so happy, you know, that uh, it grew because I was like sad. I said, oh my God, I hope. The heat will kill it. So I just thank God. Uh, it's a it's a very unique, uh, a beautiful pepper, and as you see, it grows vigorously. I think it's up to six feet now. It has a lot of branches, as you can see, a lot of branches. Look at them. You know they are very beautiful. They grow very vigorously. They have put out they put out many branches. Look at them. many branches. Although they they are, they are, they are not very strong. But, um, you know, that's why I'm able to hold it because the wind, we have a lot of wind blowing here. Okay? They are like sweet, uh, but medium hot, not too hot. Okay? So if you don't have a, a bear pepper, you can use this, substitute it for, you know, bear pepper. Okay? So you can, you know, eat it, at, you know, you can eat your peppers at all colors. But the best color is the stage, is the red one, when it's very red. Like right here. As you see, this one is red, so you have to leave it on the vine if you want it to be very red. Okay, so you see different colors. We have the green one, this green. Then we have the orange. Then this is very red. So this is when the the um, head benefit is very potent, very very potent. Yes. So yeah. So like I said, uh, it's very good for peppers. Are very good for. Um, uh, to help you to control uh, blood sugar, uh, uh, high blood pressure, uh, digestion, uh, uh, digestive uh, issues. Uh, it's just good to include pepper. So you can check my videos and see all the health benefits of uh, peppers. You, under you understand? And this one is not it's not as hot as as this uh, <laughs> as this one. This is my this is my uh, black cobra. Yeah, this one was from last year. I show, I have in my video. This from last year. This one is hot. So what I do when I want to cook, I I take some of this one. I take some of this one. Then I go to my banero that is over there. My banero, they are doing very fine. Every everything is just growing, you know. Yeah. 
But by never I've been, you know, um, I've been, um, uh, uh, uh. I've been harvesting a lot, a lot of peppers I've been harvesting, you know, and then uh, this one is the, is a common Italian pepper. I've been harvesting, you know, it just, I can't show video every day. <laughs> you know, we harvest so much, you know, yes. I have somebody that came in to, to get a colored uh, a plant for me. And uh, he said, oh, can I, uh, uh, can I buy some of this habanero pepper? I said, no, you can take as much as you want. And I gave, I gave him some. And he said, he was just like shy. I said, come on, take, take as much, okay? Come by mommy's garden. Take as much, uh, you know, as you want. And uh, you know, he did, he, he took and I, I gave him because they are here. We can't finish eating them. When we pluck them, you know, there are so much. So this is how my garden is growing. My things are growing. You know, this is uh, the blackberry. I will talk about it when the time comes. This is a uh, blackberry. You know, it was a, in a very little container when I, I ate a few of them, of this blackberry. So it's growing very well. I have the mulberry in the container, growing the container. And oh, this is oh, I ate uh, this uh, um, fig. I'm going to talk about the fig. Look at it. <laughs> yeah, it was very delicious. Yeah, this one is a desert a king. I'll talk about it and all the health benefit. And look at my. Uh, I just want to show you guys around because when I do my video, I just do it rush, rush. Yeah, I just want to show you uh, my um, bitter leaves. Uh, I cut them. You know, we pull them very low. And look at the grown again. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So this is, uh, there are different things that I, I will show you guys uh, later. So I just thank God. Yeah, pepper is very good. You know, it does your body good. And uh, check my other videos on peppers and see the health benefit. It's very, very good. And, uh, you know, that's it. Our food is our medicine. Our food is our medicine. You use it to cook. You know, like if you want to stir fry, uh, you know, something, you can just add it with other peppers. What I do, I take this one, I take a banero, I take, you know, whatever peppers that is uh, around. I just say, uh, you know, chop them up, chop onion. You can always do good things with it. You know, chop onion, chop everything, just saute it. You understand, put some tomatoes and all. You know, you can use shrimp, you can use fish, you can use chicken breast and make something up and just boil your rice or you know whatever maybe beans or you know you want to eat potatoes or yam you just make something you eat it with it so yeah it's good to to, to grow your own pepper you can grow just one thing one pepper so you can look at my garden look at because i have a lot of peppers i'm going to be showing so yeah this is that and uh, i just want us to know that uh, you know um things are possible with god you know, I just want to encourage people that what, whatever you are going through, you know, sometimes you see some things you say, oh, I don't know if God can do this for me. Oh, I don't know if it can happen. Oh, maybe you are sick and you feel maybe you have cancer or what kind of sickness. I don't know. And you feel, oh God, God can deliver you. Okay. God can deliver you. You know, we always say, oh, eh, you know, we can do simple things, you know, things that are possible. That, that we can do things that are possible and it's only the things that are impossible that God does. Listen to me. There is nothing that is possible for men to do. Nothing. <laughs> As I'm talking now, if God don't help me, you understand, don't give me the strength to talk. I won't talk. So there is not really anything really uh, easy. Okay? But all things that you think is so hard is possible because God is the, the master of the universe. He created heaven and earth. So I call, I want anyone that come across this, uh, uh, my channel, to know that this is the word of God guiding them more. And we will tell you things about God. You have to believe God. You have to trust God. And you have to do what God tells you to do. And you have to connect. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You have to connect to God. And God will always, you know, direct you. He will always direct you. So let us go to uh, the book of uh, Psalm Psalm, uh, because people don't know that things that people think are impossible, they are actually possible with God. Okay, so I'm just going to leave, leave us with uh, this uh, a scripture. 
In fact, there are so many things that, uh, so many scriptures that I could bring out. But let us do little by little. Aha, uh -huh. let's do this uh, scripture. Uh, mm -hmm. Jeremiah 30, um, 32, verse uh, 17 says, Ah, Lord Jehovah, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and stretch out arm. Nothing is too difficult for you. Nothing is too difficult for God. That is Prophet Jeremiah is talking about it. So you just have to use the word of God. This is the word of God, God and more. If you want something, praise the Lord. You want that job. And they said, oh, you know, it's so difficult to do it. Blah, blah, blah. Just take this scripture. Read the scripture to God. Tell God, this is your word. That you are the one that created heaven and earth. Even the people doing the interview. You are the one that created them with your outstretched head. So help me to get this. And he will. You have to trust God. You have to use his word. That is why this is the word of God guiding us more. Because everything that we do in this world has to do with the word of God. In all areas of our lives. Whether you are eating, you are drinking, you are dancing, you are, whatever it is you are doing. You have to do it. You know, according to the word of God. So I thank God for your life. This one is a short video. I just wanted to show off my, <laughs> my uh, bishop crown, balloon, uh, uh, pepper. Some people call it a, a Christmas uh, bells. I don't know, different names. You know, but this is it. It's so beautiful. So I invested a few of them. Yeah, this one is good enough for me. I can add some other things. And it will make me a nice sauce look at look how beautiful it is look at look at beautiful look at the way they are look at the way they are you know they have different shape but almost like the same like that okay so this is my short video coming to an end <laughs> god bless you god bless you thank you guys for watching god bless you always shalom